Coming up next is our final amateur bout of the evening. And it's a championship bout. Bantamweight, 135 pounds. After that, it's the pros. You see the belt coming in? Ooh, that's a shiny belt. Hardware. Put it up, Sifu. Coming up next, the amateur bantamweight title. Introducing first out of the blue Cage corner, Cage. representing CSA MMA, Alex Kander. CSA, well-known gym here in the Bay Area, Combat Sports Academy, providing a lot of high-level athletes or high-level MMA athletes and Muay Thai athletes. World, world, Alex uh, no. 37 years old. His opponent, James Gurdy, is 27 years old. That's another 10 year age gap. Card. Let's see if that plays any factor in the fight. Well, right off the back, I tell you. One of those guys has a brush back there. This is going to be bantamweight, yeah. 135, so we've had 185 pound fighters. 135 here now. Next up, we got James Gurity. I think that's how you say it. Variety. I don't know. We're, we're gonna let Miguel pronounce it out loud for everybody, and then we'll blame him if we mispronounce it. Oh yeah. Again, go ahead and follow uh, GZ415 on Instagram. Your evening's MC. All right, all right. Next up, out of the red corner, representing Team Black, Shane Gildry. Team Black, another well-known team here in the Bay Area. Right. Not completely sure if this is the case, but uh, I'm gonna say it's safe to maybe assume so that at least for one of these fighters, the first title they're fighting for in MMA. Even though it's amateur, it's still nerve wracking, you know? You're going up there for a belt, you have to have the speech prepared after the fight, and uh, it's a token of you fighting the toughest people in your weight division, or it should be. I know, I watched James Drudry instant uh, his interview. Very confident. He already has a belt. Yeah, I was going to say that. It seems James Gidry is walking out with his other title. Sauce Marley, that's a uh, creator. Let's I go. Like that. I'm excited, man. This is the final amateur bout of the evening. If you're tuning in and you're waiting for the pro card, pay attention to this one first. Hopefully, it ends up in fireworks. Super calculated boxing right there by Sauce Marley. 
Alexander's still getting the distance down. Using that parry to come forward. And the front kick, the tee. Alex really likes that front tee from the softball stance. Alex taking the center of the, the page. Firing down the pipe with that cross. Good check. That was a big hook that missed. Indeed. But it's, it's well timed. It's just, you know, distance not quite there yet. Throwing it, though, definitely tells your opponent that it's there. It was waiting. Oh, it caught Light the point. kick. Didn't follow up with the sweep. Took too long to do something with it. Ah, no, just, you know. Not spending excess energy. Maybe he wants to keep it on his feet. Maybe he's confident there. He looks confident there. He does. He uses his distance very well, being a longer fighter. Oh. Yeah, he's like, you know. Oh, the jab, jab, cross. That's that's what I'm talking about earlier in the, the a lot of the fighters earlier. Setting up your, your power hand. Double jab. You're not expecting to land flush with those two jabs, but they're there to get you the distance to throw that cross right down the pipe. Alex encroaching on his opponent right now. Bit of level changes from Alex. Painting it a little bit. You know, though Alex is a little shorter, he's got... Oh, and he gets clipped. He gets right back up. Alex seems to be... I don't know if it was because he got stumbled there by a shot or if he meant to shoot. It looked like he got stumbled by a shot, but I might be wrong. He seems to have recovered. He doesn't seem to have faced him so much. But the confidence is growing with uh, Sauce Marley walking down his opponent right now. And he's landing. Jab, cross, James jab. Oh, that ball. cross is landing flush. James throwing a little bit harder now. And he's teeing off. Very accurate through the guard and not overspending either. Looks like a failed shot attempt. He tells him to get back up. Wow. Yeah, I'd, I'd tell him to keep him. That was a flashy round. Show some respect at the end. The glove touch. Super disciplined, technical stand-up right there. Didn't overspin, didn't get too close to where his shots wouldn't matter and be flustered. Literally picking, picking and shooting shots. You were right about him not wanting to go to the ground, though. James says, meet me in the middle. Uh -oh. He wants the dark gesturing for the belt. Whoa. It does look like the, the, the shot is what Alex is looking for, though. A shoot for a single or a double or something. James taking the center. Pushing the pace. Switching stances. Fainting. James looks really Sauce comfortable. Smiley with that right hook. He's just, he doesn't telegraph it. He lands it whenever he comes. Whenever Alex tries to take, take space. Lands it again. So maybe if you're in Alex's corner, you bait that right cross. Fake taking space, check it, and throw it with, yours, or with your own. Prodding with that jab. Ooh. Nice combination right there. James very patient, standing in the center. Nice. Like you notice he's cutting off the cage. He's not chasing his opponent. 
Cutting off the cage. Strafing. Stay right in front. Not chasing. Capitalizing on the low effort kicks that Alex Ooh, is throwing body out. Shot. You could see that Alex reacted to the body shot a little bit. And the cross lands again. Every time Alex tries to take space. This could be it. Running away. Discipline is going to find his shots again. And Alex getting shoots. in almost on the single. Good defense. He says, come here. Oh. Talking to his opponent, getting in his head. He said, this is my belt. A lot of other amateurs, once landing that solid shot, would have followed up with a barrage of strikes. Spending some of that gas tank. No, Sauce, sauce Marley. Patient. Oh, to the gut. I can hear that. No. That was a nice knee. Defending the takedown, staying in space, and then releasing a knee to the abdomen right there, which got some respect from Ellis. Landing in the jaw, a knee to the abdomen, a punch oh. to the abdomen. Closing up his opponent, his opponent down for the all over. That's a KO. It's his belt. Got the belt. Clean stand up. This is a guy you want to look out for. He'll be taking a step into the pro, pro scene soon. He's very sharp on his striking. Didn't get to see much of his grappling, but he had great takedown defense. Double belt, double strap. Congratulations, James! You are the champion in the Bay Area and in San Francisco. The best representative title that you hold on to are now. Now, this fight, originally we have um, Jeremy X. Quota fighting Alex Kender, and you step up due to his injury. Let's tell everybody how you feel right now. Hey, I feel great. Hey, I want to shout out everybody that came out to show some support. Let's go, everybody that I train with to get me ready for this. Hey, I just want to say at the interview, I told you I was going to wrap one around this shoulder. And then I was going to wrap one around this shoulder. Baby, call me the double champ, double sauce. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, very impressive. Hopefully, May 28, if Jeremy Explota, if he's healthy, I would like to have you guys unify the belt. You are the interim champ, and he is the former champ. So let's see how this is going to play out. Now, do you have anyone in mind beside him that you want to get in to dance with it? Hey, it don't really matter, but he ain't the champ. I'm the real champ. Let's get it. Sounds good. Congratulations to you and your coach, Tim Black. We'll see you shortly. Keep up the good work. Let's go. Black, baby. Team Black. There you go. 